You must say I'll praise and anointing you how but I shame you shy about shame my car for that. And double and ask to the apostles and to the elders of Greatman Stone. You shall have to all the brothers and there across the world. You know, pushing this truth in our sincerity and all honesty. Shall I ask to the few sisters out there? Yeah, this is a brother from a Jamie Sam Jamaica Cam. Um Yashamai. Ashar. I don't want to um, you know, listen, you know, on um sufferation that, you know, our people I got you right now, we're living in you know in this society. Right? And you know, we understand that we know that you know it's coming to an end very, very soon. Right? You know, if the regular GA, there's no hope for them because they believe that somehow one day things are gonna change or I'll be better for them in this society. But we were in this truth, we understand that we know that you know all this sufferation, all, all the things that we are going to living in this society, it's gonna to come to an end very soon. Right? Um, this is an article from um, the Gleaner. It says, um, Letter of the day, men of, man, men of it rough shouldn't be chastised. Say June is men's month, men's health month, yet as I scroll through social media, my heart sinks. A young lady recently tweeted 30 plus as a man, no serious relationship, no business ventures, no property, and only own a car, maybe not even that. Just go bury yourself, please. He said, as a young man, I find this message disheartening and devastating. Right. So, you know, life that all people living in this society, right? They all go back to you know the curses that um the Heavenly Father put upon us, right? They um transgress the laws and such that's the reason why we got through all these things. Using you know our our enemy, a matter of fact our number one enemy to basically punish us. Right to basically transgress the laws, right? Because you know he's uh, the one you know ruling over us right now. Right? And you know theme ways is um, basically oppress us because this, this society, you know, or this system we're living in, it built to oppress, right, us, especially the Israelite, Israelite menu. This is Isaiah 46 verse 8. All right, go on. It says, remember this day. No, read it again. Um, it says, remember this. Yeah, it says, remember this and show thyself men. Yeah, and so the scriptures is what even the Father, Yahweh, you know, Hashem Shai has said unto us, you know, so remember this. We're supposed to remember. Right? Remember the ways of the Heavenly Father. The right way so we're supposed to basically go. I was supposed to follow. This is basically a way him set for us to follow because we go to contrary to the ways that him set for us. This is basically the result we have today. Right? It's a part of our punishment, you know, as um the Israelite men. Right? Yeah, if you basically go against the ways and, and status that the Heavenly Father, you know, taught us, you know, for Father. Right? Ultimately we understand it, yeah, go back to prophecy. Right, go on, brother. He said, remember this and show yourself men. Done. Bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors. Done. Bring it again to mind. Um He said, remember the former things of old, for I am Yahweh and there is none else. I am Yahweh and there is none like me. Um, declaring. declaring the end from the beginning and from the ancient times the things that are not yet done saying my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasures None. right so it's the person this is a lot doing so all we are going through right now is all doing the living father so this is basically part of our punishment right you can't you can bring out the scripture in um, you know, lamentation to brother, um, lamentation um, 4, you know, and verse, verse, um, verse 16. Yeah. 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 This is lamentation 4, verse, verse 6, and that was 16. <laughs> verse 6. Say, um, for the punishment of the iniquity of the daughters of my people. Yeah, such so punishment of the iniquity of the daughters of the Lord's people, you know, right? So called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indian. Right? You know, the article is speaking about, you know, the, the life that, you know, men in this society live in now. Right? And 
we basically, as a um, stripper said, we're supposed to be the, the head, according to the, what written, you know, in, in, um, in um, current can get a list of how things are supposed to be done, right after the village. Really, really, really for them, son, the how shy, right, men then women. That's how right out of how supposed, things are supposed to function. Right, read it again. So, um, for the punishment of the iniquity of the daughters of my people is greater than the punishment of the sin of Sodom God. that was overthrown as in a moment and no and stay on earth. God. Stayed on earth. God. So Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, overthrown in just a moment, but you know, the, the, the punishment that we as you know our people go through, you know, the last the years. And more and more a time go by, scripture said, you know, because our sin increased, the Lord have done all these things unto us. Right, and these, these things happen for sure us that, you know, we are the true biblical Israelites, we're the one who, you know, fit all the curses, you know, to the tea that the scripture speak about. Right? We're the one who fulfill his curse, you know, to the tea. Right? You know what's the brother? Um, um, Isaiah, and uh, Jeremiah 30. I don't know why I'm being on Jeremiah 30. Let's start at verse 12. Alright, this is Jeremiah 30. 30 and 12. Yeah, go on. It says, For thus saith the Lord, thy bruise is incurable, man. and thy wound is grievous. There is none that plead thy cause. There is no one to plead our cause. None of these nations that our people look to, right? Care about us. The so called white man, our people love so much. Moabites, so-called Chinese, the Japanese, you know, so-called Arabs, right? The Elamites, none of these nations don't care about us, right? All over go through, you know, over the years coming up, living in this society, none of them don't care about us, right? Our people seeking to these people, you know, basically escape, you know, this um, lifestyle, you know, or, or this um, system that we're living in, you know, basically. Um, come out, you know, on top. But they don't care about us, yo. none of these nations don't care about us. Go on, brother. He said, There is none that plead thy cause that thou mayest be bound up, Done. that thou hast no healing medicine. He say, All thy lovers have forget, forgotten thee, Done. they seek thee not, for I have wounded thee with the wound of an enemy. Yes, yeah, so the scripture I explain you. So the Heavenly Father, the one are punishing us. So the reason why we, we as a people or as a nation have got through all these all these things now. Right, as a brother even mentioned in the article. I got going in the article quite and I, and I explain, you know, um, how men have it hard in this society. This is basically part of our punishment as um Israelite men. Right? These things that we are going through right now. Right? One? Well, say so, um for I have wounded yeah, for I have wounded thee with the wound of an enemy. This is so called white man one. With the chastisement of a cruel one for the multitude of thine iniquity. So this is the point that I want to bring from the scripture. Right? Scripture so says for the multitude of our iniquity. Right, go on. Because thy sins were increased. So why Christ thou for thine affliction? Go on. Thy sorrow is incurable for the multitude of thine iniquity. So because Thy sins were increased, I have done these things unto thee. God, so she passed, because our sins increase, the Lord have done these things unto us. And we live in a society now where wickedness become good, right? And good become bad. So the reason why we are going through all these things is because of so say, our own wickedness are correct us. So because of what we do, or what we do in our people doing right now. This is the reason why we go through all these things. Eh? Right? Can I yeah, back to the article. Alright, um, article again, it says, In Jamaica, like many places around the world, men are often measured by their material achievements, achievements and their ability to provide. These expectations can be crippling, especially in the country where economic opportunities are limited and the cost of living is high. Yeah. So, um, 
the reality of man of slack the real reality for many Jamaican men in Stark. Not only Jamaican men, but you know, you know, this, this article is referring to, you know, the so-called Jamaicans which are mainly from each other, Benjamin, but we as a people are the nation. So-called niggas, right? West Indians and also Asian and also the Northern Kingdom. So all of us have got through this. This these, these curses are written in Deuteronomy 28, you know, from the 15th verse right down to the 60th verse. It's a, it's a part of our punishment as Israelite men, as scripture say, because we sin increase, the Lord have done all these things unto us. But we know the time, as I mentioned, when the Lord gonna, you know, fix this problem that you have amongst your people, right? What, well, brother? You see, um, according to the World Bank, Jamaica's unemployment rate hovers around eight percent, with youth unemployment significantly higher. The struggle to secure a stable well-paying jobs is a common battle. Start, starting a business or buying property often feels like a distant dream reserved for a privileged few. Right? And so the tweets casually dismissal of those who haven't met these milestones by 30 overlooks as a painful truth. So many men are silently suffering mental health issue mental health issue yeah. right all, all, all things them that you know men in this in this, in this society face it right? because you know a lot of times you know in this society you know men are jaking are jaking in general they have all different problems yeah <laughs> um, give me a scripture bring out on the, the, the curse of me do you have to turn it down Right. So, the, so we have a lot of mental health issues, you know, living in this society. We live in a society, you know, you know, all different type of madness, you know, you have to, you know, have to deal with in this society. And as time goes by, you keep, you keep on getting worse and worse, right? To give us, if, if the Lord ever left unto us, you know, a very small end with a hard black Saddam and Gomorrah, and, and day by day, you know, we've seen, right, that, um, you know, that's how it actually happen. They get burned, all get burned because more and more, you know, Jake, you know, Jake will basically but try to hold it. Them they just give in. Not that Jake them give in because, you know, um not not turn away. Hey, Jake class them hope you. Yeah. Right? Um all the trying, you know, I can't even let a Jake you out in Jamaica, you say hear them say it all the while. Right, they don't know if you do now. They try everything and not work it. But then they don't want to try the Lord. Right, go on. And delicate your one. Uh, no, 65. Okay. And it's, um, Deuteronomy 28, verse 6 to 5. saying among these nations. So it's a part of you know, the curse. As I mentioned earlier in the, in the, in the lesson, we are the one that fit all these curses to the T. And there's hope. So people say, among these nations, among these nations that we live, this power people dwell. Right? Show the folk on the hurt. Okay. Right? East, west, north, and south. It's um, shall do find no ease. So we're not gonna find no ease. This is not the kingdom of heaven. So no matter what try in this society, we're not gonna make it here. We're gonna always, you know, I go through, you know, some stress or some problem living in this society. This society is not the kingdom of heaven. Um, right? So you say among these nations, we're not gonna find no ease. Go on. So neither shall the soul of thy foot of rest. But the Lord shall give thee their trembling heart and feeling of eyes and sorrow of mind. So sorrow of mind is a part of you know, the punishment of the Heavenly Father is what? Sorrow of mind. Right? You see the article your brother it's going on about um, you know, the mental issues of um, men in the society today. Right? Them things that men go through in the society. Because really and truly, right, you know, majority of the whole soul them right now, you know, amongst our people, especially amongst the so-called nigga. Is um women basically are the one where I, I, I grew up the son and grew up the daughter. Mm -hmm. So basically, a lot of men have the, the, the father to show them the right way or lead them you know, down the right path. So you have all different types of stress and problems they have to deal with and they don't know what to deal with. Right? But we understand and know that, as I mentioned, even the father is going to fix this. Right, go on. Um, back in the article. 
says um he said mental issues mental health issues among men are a serious concern according to the WHO um, men are less likely to seek help for mental health problem due to social norms say that prize stock stoicism or stoicism and self reliance say this often lead to a dan dangerous build up of stress, anxiety and depression. Our friend of our stress and problem. Um, we know this scripture from the world. Psalms 149. Right. And this is 149 and 5. This is Psalms 149, verse 5. It says, Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. That's because, as I mentioned earlier on, right, um, this society is not the kingdom of heaven, right? So this is basically what's coming for us, you know, the Israelite men, right? In the kingdom of heaven, we're going to be joyful. No, in this society, you know, we'll be pressed as a brother, we'll bring out the curse, you know? We're going to have sorrow of mind, feel enough, feel enough highs, right? All these things that we're going through right now in this society. In the kingdom to come is a totally different thing. You know? A totally different mindset. Life all together. Right? We live in our system, you know, you know, you know, everything, you know, in the society, you know, this Western world, you know, the women, you know, it's the whole feminist thing. So, you know, in the society men you know, beat down. Right? Because that's how Esa run this society around, you know, this world. Right, over this Western world, you know, woman, you know. It's all, you know, the glory. Men get beat up, but the scripture says, so what will take place in the kingdom to come. Total different thing from this society altogether. Yeah. Right? So say, let the saints be joyful. Who are the saints? Right? The saints are the Israelites. Yeah. I can't do what really now. You know, um, we go to brother. Um, let's go to our verse back um, Psalms 158 and verse Psalm 148. It's like yeah, and verse and verse 14, then I go back to that scripture. Who are the saints? This is Psalms 148, verse 14. Huh? So he also exalted the horns of his people. His people, which are the Israelites, so called Negroes today, Latinos, and Native American, Indian. Go on. So the praise of all his saints. The praise of all his saints. Go on. Even of the children of Israel. Even of the children of Israel. So the Israelites are the saints. Right? You see a people near unto his heart. Can't go back to the scripture now. You see, um. Back to Psalms 149, verse 5. So let the saints be joyful in glory. So let the saints be joyful in glory. So let the Israelites, you know, joyful in glory. This is being speaking about in the kingdom. As I mentioned earlier. Go on. So let them sing aloud upon their beds. So we're going to sing upon our bed in the kingdom to come. Go on. Let the high praise of Yahweh be in their mouth and a twitched sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people Can. to bind their kings with chains. So they're gonna we're gonna bind these kings or these rulers of his hurt, you know, starting with them head. Right? They have all these nations, these heathen nations, you know. The rock child Rockefellers are undone. They're going to slavery on us in the kingdom to come. So we gonna basically be the one that you know in, in power in the kingdom to come. Currently now we have the all these nations of, of basically us right now. We are, the, we are the lowest of the lowest of all these nations. Yeah. Right? Bottom. Yeah. Yeah, you put it. But in the kingdom to come, we're going to basically be on top. So we're going to rule over these nations. Right? So you pass it. To bind their kings with chains. So slavery is coming, you know, back in a big way. For these Edomites. Mainly Edomites are the rest of these Indian nations. Because the Edomites are going to get it worse of all these nations. Them did us the worst. Yep. The all these hidden, the Edomites did us the worst. So they're going to get, super super, double unto them, double. Yeah. Okay, go on. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute upon them the judgment written, this honor of all these, 
of all his saints. His saints. Wow. Praise ye the Lord. And exactly. We're going to sit there now for me, brother. Um, Psalm. Psalm. We're going to Isaiah for me. Isaiah 60 and verse. Psalm and verse. And verse 3. This is Isaiah 60 verse 10. Verse 10. Verse 10. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy wall. Yes, yeah, so and the sons of strangers shall build up thy wall. These nations are going to build our kingdom. Right? No, we've been oppressed. Right? As if the, as brother mentioned in the article, you know, the, 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 the state of a lot of men in the society, you know, mental issues and all these things. In, in our lamentation 5, he said, um, labor and have no rest. Right? So in return, you now we're going to rest and all these nations are going to work. So they're going to build our kingdom from scratch. Just like how four prince get brought over the side of the world, you know, and cargo slave ship, you know, and build Esau kingdom, right, from scratch. You know, the Lord going to use all these nations, all these hidden nations, right, to build our kingdom. So he said, the strangers shall build up thy wall, build our wall. Go on. Say, and the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, well, and, the, and their kings shall minister unto thee. Well, For in my wrath I smote thee, well, but in my favor have I have mercy upon thee. Can't say, Lord, say, in my wrath and smote us. So all the curses that we basically go through, you know, as a people or as a nation, that's basically the wrath of the Heavenly Father. Right? I remember that going to the article earlier on. Right? There are all, all things, you know, when men in the society going through. Right, he said, I do tell him, brother, bring out, say, I'm do tell him 28 and 60, 65, say, among these nations thou shalt shall found no ease, neither shall the soul of thy foot have no rest. Lord shall give us a sorrow of mind. So all these things are the wrath of the heavenly Father, as the scripture said, in thy wrath he smote us. But in thy favor, in thy, will I get brother, will I father again? Say, but in my favor. But in thy favor, go on. Have I had mercy on thee? So you have mercy on us. Right? Say, so he, he give us all, you know, what it is our desire in the kingdom to come. And so basically, we're going we're to receive. Receive all the curses now. On this side, in the kingdom, we're going to receive all the blessings. Right? Go on. Okay, um, Therefore, thy gates shall be open continually. Go on. Um, they shall not be shut day nor night. That men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, Done. and that their kings may be brought, Done. may be brought. He say, um, for the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Done. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. And they're gonna be wasted. They don't follow our ways. They're gonna get punished. The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee. So these nations, they're gonna, you know. Come over in slavery, as people say in Isaiah. They're gonna come in chains. Alright, yeah. go on. Now the fir tree, the pine tree, and the box together to beautify the place of my son. Yeah, so they're gonna plant up all these, you know, pretty flowers. You know, make the place look you know beautiful. Yeah. Alright, go on. And I will make the place of my feet glorious. The sons also of them that afflicted thee. The sons of also of them that afflicted thee. All these nations that have been afflicted us the years. Right, look upon us as nothing. They shall come bending unto thee. So they shall come bending unto us. What? And all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet. Man. And they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Man. So that's yeah. basically what's coming for us. Yeah. These nations are going to bow down to us. They want to look, all these nations look down upon us as nothing now. They're going to bow to us in the kingdom. When the Lord basically rises up back again as a people or as a nation. Okay. One more verse. Right? So we're as though as been forsaken and but, hated. Yeah, can. So that no man went through thee, I will make thee an external excellency. And a joy of many generations. A joy of many generations. So, you know, there's hope for us. You know, it seems like there's no hope now, you know, living in this society with all the oppression and all the, you know, things that people have here face. But there's hope. Right? There's hope. Your scripture tell us here. Pretty soon all this madness will come to an end. 
this, this um, lifestyle that you know right now is going to change you all together. Right? Bring one more scripture, you know. Um, it's Revelation 21 and verse 4. This is Revelation 21 verse 4. Right. So, and Yahweh shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, nor sorrow, no, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Yeah, super sad. The former things are passed away. So all these things are we are going through right now in the society I come to one as I mentioned. Go on. So, um, and he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he, and he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. Are true and faithful. We believe that. Right? The word um, new in the Greek, go up to um, kindness, meaning you know, refresh. So everything is set back, the right and proper way, how things are supposed to function. Right, because currently now everything is going the opposite way. So they are going to set back the right order and everything is going to flow naturally. How it's supposed to flow. Right, that's what the Lord is getting ready to do right now. Right, so we now go to no more pain, no more suffering. Total different, you know, we have living from, you know, living in the society all together. Yeah, so that means I'll praise Zan and Auntie Ao, Washim, Shai, Washim, Kakodash, and double honors to the pastors today, let's have given the stone. Shalom to all the brothers and all the pushing the truth. Shalom to the few sisters. Yeah, pretty soon we're going to leave the society. Yeah, shalom.